Rick from The Walking Dead or Ving Rhames up in here because the Naruto franchise has suddenly turned into a zombie, a walker, an Edo Tensei, if you will. Even after the end of the Naruto manga series, it just keeps on kicking. The last Naruto the Movie Part 3 miniseries coming out in the spring and the announcement of a brand new Naruto movie coming out in August of 2015, Boruto. Naruto the movie. Not exactly the cleverest title, but I'm really excited because it's going to be a movie starring Naruto's son, Boruto Uzumaki, who goes by the nickname of Bolt. And I can't wait to see what this little bastard's adventures are going to be because he's a very mysterious and new character and we really just don't know all that much about him quite yet. The news of this movie really isn't all that shocking. We knew it was going to happen and it was formally announced after the end of the last movie, which... Thank God that movie is going to be coming out to U.S. theaters very soon. Make sure to pre-order your tickets for that. I made a video about it. Look for a link for that at the end of the video. Yes, that is a shameless plug-in. Probably the only one in this video, I hope. But what I'm really excited about this movie is just the prospect of seeing all the new characters and seeing their personalities come alive on screen. Because we're going to get a preview of them when the Part 3 manga series starts this spring. And I'm really interested to see what this movie is going to do, if it's just going to adapt that or if it's actually going to be a brand new story on its own, it probably will be something to actually complement the series. And I'm really interested to see what sort of tone it's going to go for, because now that they live in a world of peace, so to speak, at least they don't have people with M. Bison goals, it looks like the threat might not be as extreme, but who knows, maybe this will give us an excuse to see the return of Orochimaru. And it makes sense. Orochimaru loves kids. So I'm really excited for this movie. I hope that Boruto is not just going to be the star of the film. I hope we have an opportunity to see the kids of the other main characters of Naruto and hopefully they'll all get to do something cool. And uh, I really hope that their powers and abilities are going to be unique and not just carbon copies of what their parents do. And uh, that brings me to Boruto again. I really can't wait to see what his abilities are going to be. Hopefully he'll have an entirely different chakra nature than either Naruto or Sasuke. That way we can really mix it up and try something new with his character. In other Naruto-related news, there is a brand new arc which is starting up this January. It is going to be the Chunin Exam arc for all of the old characters, the rookies of Konoha. This is material that was never done in the manga version, and I'm really excited for this. At first, I was not really sure what to expect, but then they finally released some character artwork of some of the other villages which are going to be battling Konoha. And I cannot wait to see these guys in action because they all have a lot of really interesting designs. And one of them even has a big pompadour. And pompadours kick ass! If you guys want to check out the artwork of these brand new characters, I'll put a link for that in the description box below so you can check it out. But I just want to talk about some of these brand new characters. So first, there's these group of three ninja from the Hidden Grass Village. There's Burami, Kasami, and Miyami. And they're all ridiculous extremes. First, of course, you have Kasami, who has that hair, which just reminds me of Space Dandy, of Kuwabara, of Bulat. The Pompadour is coming back in a big way. Frankly, I don't think it ever left. And then we have Burami, who's basically just giving Choji a run for his money. Hell, he's basically winning. This dude is just huge and ridiculous. And then last but not least, we have uh, Miyami, who is this character who has these glasses, and he has this, like, three-bladed claw. And this actually isn't the first time that we've seen this in the series. If you guys remember, in the very first filler arc of Naruto Shippuden, there was the pseudo Jinshiriki character, Sora, who also had a three-bladed uh, weapon. And this is very similar to that, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do with these characters and their abilities. But not to be outdone, we also have some hidden sand ninja. First, there's Yomi, this cute little girl with pigtails. Then there's this stoic-looking dude by the name of Sora. And most interesting of all, there's the character of Sin, who looks strikingly similar to Tamari. And it's easy to make that connection because not only do they look physically the same, but this brand new character Sin is actually using fans as well, these two smaller fans. So perhaps they were comrades in arms at some points. Maybe they trained together. Maybe Sin is a little bit older and learned all this stuff, but it would actually make more sense for her to be younger at this point. Still, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with these brand new characters, but the final three characters that are actually uh, coming in this tuning exam are actually returning characters. And they're the washouts from the very first tuning exam in the original series. Characters that really had no backstory whatsoever, and they were easily one of the most awkward teams of all. It was that one girl, that one dude, and that one old man. Why is there an old man who is still a Genin with... 
I mean, it just... Ah, I cannot wait to see what these characters are going to do, if only for the fact that they are so pathetically hilarious. However, this arc does have one more major surprise, and that's actually going to include the character of Fu, who is the Jinchuriki of the Seven Tails Chomei, who's basically Kabuterimon. And this is interesting, because this is basically giving us the timeline of where Fu was captured by Akatsuki, like how it all went down. And obviously, this could lead to the Akatsuki actually coming in and trying to capture Fu during the tuning exams, or maybe even another mysterious enemy, which is supposedly teased in the article. If anything, I'm excited for this tuning arc. I think it's actually going to be really cool. I was a little nerfed by it at first because I thought that, well, this is just eating into the finale of the series, and we're getting so close to it. And honestly, I don't want it to end quite yet. I'm really enjoying the ride, so this has basically given us an excuse to extend the series out. But I really think this arc has potential. I really think the characters are going to be interesting and fun and hopefully have some really cool powers. And this is something that we've never seen before, and it's an excuse to have another tuning exam. And to a lot of people in the first part of the series, the tuning exam was the best arc. And for me personally, it might have been my favorite arc of the first series. It's the one that really got me into Naruto in the first place. So I can't wait to see if they're going to capture the magic the second time around. Especially because we get to see our characters with brand new abilities, and of course brand new characters altogether. So there's just a lot of possibility for all the brand new Naruto stuff in the future. So I'm really excited. But uh, aside from that, that's pretty much all that's going on on the channel right now. As you guys know, we are on the uh, week of Christmas, and if you guys are tuning in for our regular reviews on Christmas Day, which is on a Thursday, a lot of those videos will be delayed. And that's because we're going to be spending time with our families, giving out gifts, and eating a lot of food, and just enjoying each other's company. So you should do the same. Be with your family and have a wonderful day, and stay tuned. All of our videos will be released either really late that night or the next day. And that's pretty much it. Uh, other announcements, I guess. Uh, I've been watching a little bit of the old Fate Stay anime series because I've been trying to get into the brand new Fate Stay... I think it's called Fate Stay Zero Unlimited Blade Wars. I think that's the name of the series. There's so many different versions of Fate Stay. But I've gotten a lot of requests to check out the brand new series. And for me to fully appreciate it, I really want to try and watch everything from the beginning. And it's been kind of difficult because we're working on a lot of different projects and we're watching a lot of different shows. And winter season is getting ready to come up and there are so many different anime that I'm getting ready to watch. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul second season, JoJo second season. Uh, there's that assassination classroom that I'm really looking forward to seeing and maybe even a few other surprises. I really can't wait to see what's going to happen. Otherwise, uh, there's going to be a ton of content coming to you from us at Super Kami Guru 9000. So there it is, guys. Happy holidays. Thank you for joining me for this uh, special Naruto video. Uh, before you guys leave, I want to hear your thoughts about the brand new Boruto movie. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comments section below. What characters do you want to see appear? What do you want to happen in the story? And what do you want to see from the main character himself, Boruto? Also, for the tuning exam, are you looking forward to that with these brand new character designs? What do you want to see happen in that tuning exam arc? And what's going to go down with Fu? Is she going to get captured by Akatsuki? Tell me your thoughts in the comments section below. Before you guys leave, you can also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the channel icon right up here. You can also hit that like button so you can help out our video, give it the uh, old like, and share it with all of your friends. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Holidays. Super Comedy Guru 9000, out.